London Fog. When I came back, could you believe it? Those girls had started up a band without me. I was supposed to be the drummer. I'd already had one drum lesson from DJ, DJ Bonebreak, who was then playing for the Eyes. I'd walked up to him when they were rehearsing at the mask, and I said, hi, I'm Gene. Uh, would you give me a drum lesson? Well, he's so fucking nice. He said yes. <laughs> and he'd been my friend since then. But the one drum lesson wasn't going to cut it. I had to have a second drum lesson. I had to replace this guy, Dave Vacant, that was the drummer. He just, he just wasn't right for this band. I was right for it. And I uh, taught Carla Mad Dog, the drummer of the three-piece, uh, the controllers from down here, into giving me a lesson. It was simple math. As long as I didn't have to play a fill, I was okay. I need some hand claps. Drum lessons in the basement. Drum lessons uptown. Ones and twos and fours and eights. Think I'm getting it down. Two, three, four. Hands greasy from Chinese food. Lips lappy set. You're the worst band you've ever heard. Bill Murray just left. Oh, 
really Bill Murray did supposedly walk out on, on the set of my band at Urge when we played the Hong Kong Cafe. We were supposed to play two nights with the Zeros, and after we played, um, the, <laughs> the owner told me not to come back for the next scheduled night. She said we were the worst band we'd ever, that she'd ever seen, so, and that Bill Murray walked out. Well, I asked Julie, our guitar player, what she remembers from that night, and she said, I don't know. All I know is that my hands were greasy from the egg rolls, and my guitar playing was a little sloppy on the first song. Well, our band, The Urge, was always sloppy. There was a charm to that. They just didn't see it at the Hong Kong Cafe. Okay, well, to just summarize, there was a lot of buildup for when the Sex Pistols came to see Winterland. And Winterland was an excellent place to see Boston, Fog Hat, any number of Grateful Dead side projects, Journey, but it was a stupid place to see the Sex Pistols. The band was on the verge of a breakup, and that gig just pushed him over the cliff. Thank you, Pat, for making this a band.